So it's running now, so whenever you're ready. Yeah. Right. And good. No. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Paul Richards. I am a comedy writer and performer uh, based in St. Ives in Cambridgeshire. So my initial uh, plan when I first started writing, when I was uh, still at school, was to write situation comedies. And after after years of getting my, my rejections, and I even got a, a Christmas card once from Carlton TV, I was selected by a Menagerie Theatre in Cambridge to be a bursary writer for them. So I trained uh, with them. I really discovered this newfound passion for, for theatre. I also premiered my first work. Since then I've been writing for other people and then three years ago uh, I wrote a show called Is It Too Late to Save Oscar Pike which is about a guy about to turn 30 uh, and slowly losing the plot. The director of the show insisted that I played the lead character because it was clearly about me and it was uh, a success. It was a charity show but it was a success and that show ended up going to the Fringe Festival and since then I've got the uh, performance bug myself. My first solo show, completely solo show, was last year at the Edinburgh Fringe, a show called uh, Things Can Be Marvellous, which had very good reviews. This year I'm heading up to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival um, with my 11th Edinburgh production and also my 12th production, because I'm doing uh, two shows uh, up there. They're both as, as messy as each other, but in a, a charming way, I'd, I'd like to think. My main show this year is uh, a solo show. It's called Getting Lost in My Hometown, uh, which is obviously partially about um, St Ives. Uh, I moved back here uh, last year after a few years away. So also uh, sort of comments on the whole growing old thing as well because I'm 33 now and I'm starting to feel it slightly. Um, it's a really nice show to do, I have to admit. It's, uh, it's a solo show but it's more of a storytelling comedy show rather than straight stand-up. So it kind of bridges the gap between the theatre uh, and comedy actually and it has lots of um, random images throughout the show and there's a bit of music as well. I'm also a drummer so I like to, to play some stuff uh, during the course of the production. Alongside the, uh, my, my stage work, um, I've also written a book, uh, a collection of short stories called The Stationery Cellar and Other Short Stories. And it's, it's, a, it's a nice little book, I think, actually, I'm bound to say that, but uh, it contains uh, 12 short stories and about 13 swear words, uh, I think, and, and it's very gentle. I think my friend said it's very good toilet reading. Um, I'm not sure if that's a compliment, but I like to think it is. In preparation for the Edinburgh Fringe this year, I've been doing the show a lot. So I've got the Buxton Fringe coming up, and I was in Ludlow the other day doing the show in Wales, and I've two UK tours. And before that, I, uh, I like to try out the material as lounge shows, um, which is something I really enjoy. There's something really special about doing a show in front of an audience that are that close to you. Uh, I know it being a time which my landlady caught me naked, uh, attacking an ant with a baseball bat. <laughs> So I think if you can't perform the show for the people when they're right in your faces, you can't really perform it at all because you, you know very quickly then if, if they find it funny or not and if uh, the material actually works. Grace, 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 Grace. So uh, getting lost in my hometown, uh, Edinburgh Fringe, uh, this year, uh, up there at uh, City Nightclub at 4.45 from the 2nd till the 22nd of August.